Good morning, AACS. It's Mr. Thorpe. So in an effort to make this quick so you can get to your studies, uh, I'll jump right in. So one of the characters in Hamlet states that brevity is the soul of wit. So in essence, uh, the impact of a witty statement is determined by the comments being concise and uh, the right timing of the delivery. So I feel the same about devotions. So here we go. Psalm 121. Let me read it for you. Let me tell you a little bit about it. Something I want you to dwell on and then, uh, then I'll pray. So Psalm 121. I lift up my eyes to the hills. From where does my help come? My help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth. He will not let your foot be moved. He who keeps you will not slumber. Behold, he who keeps Israel will neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is your keeper. The Lord is your shade on your right hand. The sun shall not strike you by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord will keep you from all evil. He will keep your life. The Lord will keep your going out and your coming in from this time forth and forevermore. So hear this verse again. It says, The Lord will keep your going out and your coming in from this time forth and forevermore. There will be a time soon enough where we will consider the idea of going out, whether it be to dinner or to a movie, to a friend's house, to a game. Uh, I am eager to get to that time. But I want to also remind you that our God, God is worthy to be trusted even in this time. And He's worthy of our worship in this time. So I want to encourage you. May you find time today to place your trust and a God who watches your coming and your going, who will keep your life. And may you worship his faithfulness, faithfulness of Jesus Christ, in all times, both coming in and going out. Let's pray. Father God, we are grateful for your love for us. We are grateful for the way that you teach us things in the midst of every circumstance. None of these circumstances are out of your uh, view, Lord, we know that you are working in them. You are drawing close to us, Lord. May we draw close to you through your word, through worship, through fellowship with those who are near to us in our households, Lord. Give us time to reflect, to pause. Also, Lord, strengthen us that we might be diligent in the work that we have ahead of us. And Father, may we just rejoice in the day when going out is something that you give us back as a gift. May we not take it for granted. And in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Enjoy the day, Eagles.